Hey everybody, it's Murgle, and so what we're gonna do is show ya my trade skill master settings. Because in the last week, I've gotten asked so many questions about what my settings are, and you seem to think that I know everything about trade skill master, which I'm pretty basic. Like, I'm the most basic trade skill master person you'll ever meet, okay? So, first off, you're gonna have to go to your curse. So, you just pop open your curse, your client. You're just going to have to get your Trade Skill Master stuff downloaded. There's tons of Trade Skill Master crap. Just get all that downloaded, and then um, you'll be set up, okay? Once you've picked up those things, you're also going to want to pick up the Trade Skill Master um, desktop app. Now, this is just a, a basic app that um, connects your add-ons to your character. Okay, once you've got all those things downloaded, you're also going to do this. So on the Trade Scale Master app, once you've set it up, got it turned on, which is very simple. You're just going to have to register on the website, download it, and then enter your stuff on the, the uh, Trade Scale Master app, the desktop one. Okay, very simple. After you've done that, you come back to the website and go to Realm Selection. On this Realm Selection, you're going to pick your servers that you would like to have, which is very simple. You just take the list, US, UE, doesn't matter. In a, it's very simple. You just go down the list and hit Add Realm. And after that, it'll start taking the prices from that realm and tell you what it's worth in that region. Um, That's the easy part, okay? Once you've downloaded the stuff and done that, that's the easy part. You've already done it, which that'll take you the longest, okay? After that, you're good to go, you get on the game. Now, once all that's set up, you're gonna be on the game. You're on a character. This is what the trade skill add-on looks like that you're gonna click. So we pop that bad boy open, and this is where you're gonna head. You see this little thing here? You'll see it, it'll say groups, okay? Then you need to make a group. I have a group, and as you see, I am, I'm very good at naming it. S-A-D-F, all right? That was the first few things that I smashed when it asked me what the group name should be. S-A-D-F. This is like half my file names. You're going to click on your group once it's there, okay? And click Ignore Random Enchantment. And as you get a new item, throw it into this group. Every single item that I sell is in one single group. I don't specialize and throw in a massive amount of groups. Every single item is all in the exact same group, and it works just fine for me. Going into all that detail, too much concern for me. Don't really care. Uh, you're just going to, as you get a new item, select it. Like, let's let's remove the mage. I Well, I need to have something in my inventory. So let's get this Orca Foot Wrap, and we'll remove that from the group so you can see it. So we're going to go to Group, SADF, Find Orca Foot Wrap. Um... All right, it's above there. It's going to be here soon. Oh, come on. It's so hard. To... There it is. Orca foot wraps. You see, I got it in my inventory, so it'll be over here. It's the only thing in my inventory right now. And it should just say Orca foot wraps. If you don't have this selected, it's going to say of the seer. You don't want that. You just want the basic name, Orca foot wraps. Take it, add it to the group. And now it's set up for that group. Okay? After that, you're going to have to make an operation for auctioning. Again, very good operation name. DSAF. That was the first thing I smashed when I made that operation name. So, uh, pretty similar names here. But anyways, uh, you're going to, after you've made that operation, you're going to view the operations details. Go to post. I set mine to 48 hours because I post so many things, I don't want to have to post them more than once every two days. Pretty lazy. The post cap, I max it out. I don't care how many repeats are in the auction house because think of it like this. And this is how I explained it to a buddy yesterday. Imagine you were going to a gas station and you wanted to buy a soda, but they didn't have any soda. Well, you're gonna go to a different place to go buy your soda. So if I got like 10 in the same transmog on the auction house, who cares? If uh, somebody buys one, at least I have a spare one set up there. I don't look at it as it's a big deal if I post a lot of the same thing. So I put my post cap as 200. However many I got, throw them on the auction house. Doesn't matter to me. 
uh, stack size. I put 40. This is just my number. I You can put whatever stack size you feel like. But 40 is what I like to do. So uh, keep it at 40 and hit allow partial stack size. Because if you don't check mark this, if this is not check marked, you won't post anything unless you have 40 of it in one stack. So you wouldn't be posting this Orca foot wrap because I don't have a stack of 40. So you need to make sure allow partial stack size is checked. Keep quantity. I don't keep anything. Sell it all. Throw it all in the auction house. Max expires. Don't care. Keep it at zero. Undercut amount. Leave it at one copper. If you're putting anything over this, you're just losing money. Okay? When somebody looks an item up on the auction house, the cheapest one is the top listed one. So even if you're only one copper cheaper, you're still right there. You're the first one. They're going to see yours. Nobody else's. So one copper should always be the undercut amount. Um, bid percent, leave it at 100. You don't want to put your 500,000 gold item with a 50 silver bid and somebody win it for like three gold, okay? Leave it at 100%. Just let it post the same amount of bid pretty much as what you're selling for the buyout. Minimum price, 1%. Space DB market. So 1% space DB market. This means that it'll post the item as low as 1%. I do that because any item that's really worth a lot, you're not going to see posted too cheap anyways. So you may lose out a little bit sometimes on this, but I don't really care. I'm posting so many things that it's more important that I just get it posted as opposed to what price it's actually being posted at. Maximum price. Let's say, uh, Glorious leg plates are on the auction house for 500k. It's now going to post them below that 500k because you're allowing it to do a thousand percent of the DB market. So it'll post one copper less than up to a that. So if somebody posted it for 500k, you're going to post it for 499, 999,9999. Okay, that's what it'll it's saying pretty much, which is okay. Again, if somebody really wants an item and you're the only one available and you're still cheaper than the guy that's right below you. They're going to buy yours, not theirs. Normal price, 100% of the DB market. This means that um, if there's none on the auction house, look, if there's none on the auction house, this is what it's going to post it at, 100% of the DB market. If that item's worth 5K and nobody else has posted one, it's going to post it at 5K. When below the minimum, post it at your minimum price. So let's say somebody crazily puts... Um, I don't know, Ashbringer. Let's pretend Ashbringer can be posted on the auction house. And they put it for one copper. But Ashbringer's worth a thousand gold. And your DB market is 1%. So when it's below the minimum, let's say he posted it at one copper. It would post it at one gold. Since you're, or no, excuse me, 10 gold. If, if Ashbringer's worth a thousand, it would post it at 10 gold. Because it's below your minimum price. If that makes sense. I hope that made sense. I tried to explain it. And then when above your maximum price. Let's say uh, they posted Ashbringer at max gold. And your, your max allowed to be above the market price would be 100k. It would post it at 100k. Because you're going 1000% over the market price. So. That's my settings. I don't do anything special. I really don't, but very simple. And once you have it set up, I'm going to show you how it works. So let's just grab a few items here because I do have to repost them. As you see, it's my mail. It's a lot of stuff in the mailbox that we need to repost. But if you're not using Trade Skill Master, this is why it's powerful and it'll save you a lot of time because I remember when I didn't used to use it and how long it took me to post stuff. So once you have it set up, it's going to pop up this thing. This is what it'll show. The first thing you you look up when you're doing it, uh, you're going to hit auctioning and your group will be here. SADF, my group. You're going to hit start post scan. It's going to scan all the auctions on the current auction house at their prices. OK, that's what it's doing like this. And if you have something that's got a lot, it's going to say page of one of maybe 15. If you're posting something like a cloth that there's always a lot of on the auction house. Okay, so after it's scanned everything, it's going to be done, and you're just going to click post. You're going to click it a bunch, and you can start walking away. Once you've finished it, it'll just vanish from your inventory afterwards, and that's it. You're done. You've posted your auctions. 
No thought process really necessary once you've set it up. Just make sure those items are in your group. If you have these settings, it's going to be that simple. So I hope I explained that easy enough that I, people understand. If you have any concerns or you're, you're lost, just drop a comment on the video. I tried to make it as explanatory as possible. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.